This must be a really exciting time for you, your, your first leading man role. It so is, tell yeah. us a little bit more about it. Oh man, it's 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 really, really exciting and you know, a little nerve wracking when you first get the job and you're like, oh, you know, like a lot of pressure, yeah. you know, whether you put it on yourself or other people, but it's it's wonderful. It's a really wonderful experience. Huge learning learning curve, you know. Can, you, uh, can I take you back to sort of like the beginning of your career and yeah. just find a little bit more about your background because I believe it was in dance, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? I'll, I'll try to make it as concise as I can. <laughs> I, I took cameras into the woods and shot little action films with my buddy because I, was, I did martial arts. That's, that's what I really started from. I did that for like 14 years. Um, as I was doing that, I wanted to become an actor but there wasn't really a way in. So my mom said, look, I just saw Dirty Dancing. I uh, should watch that. And I was like, no, I want to watch it. And she's like, just watch it. You know, there's an actor in it, uh, Patrick Swayze. And John Travolta was a dancer and Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire, you know. Watched it, loved it, went to a dance school, learned Latin ballroom dancing, uh, got more involved in the dance, learned hip hop, took jazz classes, a little bit of ballet, a little bit of everything. Uh, became a backup dancer for pop artist, R&B artist, brought me to London, then that brought me to LA. This is the really quick, concise, short version. And 10 years ago, I landed in LA, uh, and then there was acting everywhere. So I picked up acting and then slowly cut down the dance. And then five years ago, I stopped con completely. And I thought I would never professionally dance again. And then the script of street dance landed on my table. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't see that coming. Well, you, you, you work with some really big names as a dancer, you know, Mariah Carey, uh -huh. Britney Spears. And so to, when you think about how well you were doing, I believe you were, you were a choreographer as well. So was it a massive decision for you to decide to really go, right, OK, I've got to stop this and just concentrate on the acting? Um, you know, I mean, I, I did work, I did uh, two Britney Spears videos, it was featured work, um, like freestyle and, and same with Mariah. Um, and uh, as a choreographer, it, it was and it wasn't because at, at a one point it was like I got really used to dancing. You get really comfortable. So in that point it was, but also I've been dying to act since I was little. Um, so that was just exciting. And also um, I, I, I had danced for about eight years by that point or nine. I just, and I'd done it intensively, like eight hours every day. And uh, so I, I was good to let it go. I was like, okay, we, we've done it. Moving on, you know. And you've, you've already had some sort of good parts. You've been in Night and Day. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and some big parts on uh, TV as well. TV, yeah. CSI and The Closer. Is it a case of when you're an up-and-coming actor, you've just got to keep chipping away and chipping away? Yeah. And even though you've had the success, is it hard for you to go back and have to really start at the bottom of the ladder and work your way up again? I mean, I was sort of used to that because I had a career in Germany as a dancer. Then came to London. You start from zero. It doesn't count. Uh, then I had, to, had a career here. Um, went to LA, nobody knows. And so the same with acting again, and even in acting, you know, when I did Night and Day, which was my, my first big film, it was like over $120 million film, Tom Cruise was in it, Cameron Diaz, and I thought, uh, here it is, you know, like from now on, people will call me and it's easy and I, I made it. Yeah, I didn't, you know, it wasn't quite that. Um, I found myself quickly doing, you know, you have to do side jobs again. Um, yeah, and, and back to the, like, the, uh, when am I going to make it? And then, but it's awesome, I think, that it happened because you, you realize you, you'll never make it. You know, I bet you that whoever it is, George Clooney and Brad Pitt, are like, I want to do this next, you know, because you always strive to grow. Definitely, you're always looking for the next you're role. Always looking that, for the next role. Expl explore, really. Mm -hmm. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, you touched upon... Of Germany. So you're German born. Mm -hmm. Your big break in the movies is a very much a European film. So is that like a homecoming for you? It was hilarious because it was, okay, it was cast in LA. I went all the way to LA where it was cast. But it's a British film where I had my pit stop. You know, I was here for three years. And it's shot mainly in Germany. So I was like, wow, you, you know, you, you travel all around the world to then go home and like and, and shoot it in your home country where you were born and with people that you lived with for three years and um, not literally live with them. But, but, it, but it's, it's part of who you are. 
yeah. really, isn't it? Yeah. And so we, we come to the part of Ash. Yes. Um, he's, you, you, start, you root for him from the beginning of the film. Oh, wow. I mean, he's very spirited, isn't he? Is that, is yeah. that how you saw him? Yeah, yeah. I, try to, I always try to pour as much truth that I have in myself that connects to the character into the character. Because I also, I've said this before, this is sort of a little spiritual, but I believe that you're drawn to a project for a certain reason. Um, yeah, so I, there's a lot of myself in it, to be really honest. A younger, I would say a younger version of myself, um, but nevertheless, you know. And you're leading the crew, so with your choreography background, did that pre better prepare you for the role of Ash, having to be kind of like the, the head I of the I knew how to crew? count. Five, six, seven, eight. Um, no, it, it did. I think just the mentality of it and how to, you know, just be comfortable standing in front of a, a, a group. But still, I mean, I was standing in front of the most high caliber dancers, some of which I had known as legends, you know, when I was dancing. Um, and also on the Invincible crew, you know, like just incredible dancers, just breathtaking. And um, so it helped, but it was also completely new territory at the same time because of the particular dance style that it was, which is very street, b-boy, breaking, very dynamic. I come from the backup, very choreography, you know, oriented backup dancing world. These are all amazing individuals that can dance together. You know? I wonder, what, it must be interesting for them if they are dancing as individuals, they then become part of a crew where they're having to share each other's space. Uh -huh. That's probably, that has a, a challenge as well. It, it has, it has a, I think it has a big challenge, but it also has, so much creativity because the this crew that we got to work with the hero crew um they're real sweet guys and girls real loving they're not there's no cattiness going on or anything like that they were just really in awe of one another and ready to they were like oh what you always do let's do that with that thing that i got and then your thing and you know they were just like vibrant and um it was awesome to just even witness you know and then be part of it. It gets your energy all psyched up, really, I suppose. Yes, yes. One, of, one of the lines that you say in the film is that you, you get it now, and dancing with a partner is like being in the moment. Sharing a moment, it, all about sharing a moment. Exactly, yeah. and, and acting must be very much like that as well for you. Yes, yeah, I mean, to be quite honest, not to sound cliche, but for me, as a community or society where we're at, or where we, I think we want to be, is share, you know, I mean, you can have all the success in the world, you can have all of the riches or whatever it is, if you can't share it, it's almost like it doesn't exist. And I think human nature is to want to connect. And one of the huge deals for me about this film, why, why I really like it so much is because it's not just the, the showy part of dance, uh, the flashy, cool thing, we have that, those elements, but it's really about the connection of it you know, that you do it with friends, that you do it out of love, that you do it out of passion for one another. And sharing, sharing a moment. Well, the other thing that I notice as well with the film, obviously you've got romance and you've got fantastic music and dancing, and I spoke to the director yesterday about it, is also, um, it, it's about um, accepting each other's differences, really. Yes, yeah. As well, so did you feel that? Did you feel that coming through as a part of the sort of subtext of the film, really? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, to be open-minded, to drop the ego. Um, yeah, to just, just really be like, I'm right here. What have you got? Who are you? And I'm not scared to show you myself with all the fears. And, you know, because, I mean, especially for Ash, he's scared. You know, the, the reason why he does screw up, you know, is because he's just fearful. And, again, I think that's something that every human being can relate to, you know. And they, they say as well, to, to become a better actor, you, to work with great actors, and you get to work with Tom Conti. That I must have been a, a great experience. It was a great treat, yeah. Tom is, I mean, amazing at what he does, very effortless. You can't see him act. And he has, a, he has so much fun, he makes everybody laugh. And uh, yeah, I, I, I had a blast with Tom. Great guy. I would, and I heard or read rather that he was terrified about the the he, dancing. He, so is is that inspirational for you that somebody of his experience is still prepared to kind of um, break their own boundaries? Really? Yes, hugely. And I think it's it's extreme. It's brave, you know. And it's like it's nice to see that even at his level, people continuously challenge themselves to grow. 
you know, to, to be like, I might make a fool out of myself, um, which he did need it, wonderful, but he took that risk to maybe do so. And I think that's where really creative stuff comes from. And, and, for the, and finally, really, for your future, mm -hmm. um, I've seen you've written short stories mm -hmm. and short films. Are you, are you going to pen a, a feature? Uh, actually, it's, it's funny that you say that because we're, um, we're penning one and trying to produce it at the end of the year. Nothing is set in stone yet, but we're working on that. And we have a couple of scripts on the table from other people uh, that we're trying to weigh out right now what the next project should be. What, what's the next right step? And just, I'm excited to see what will just happen. What the future holds? Never know. You don't, this is exciting. <laughs>